This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says find the derivative of f of x equals x to the fifth using f prime of c equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c. And it wants us to do it by using polynomial long division. Ultimately, if we have the graph f of x equals x to the fifth, which looks like this, and if we have a roller coaster that's riding on this and we want to look at the headlights of this roller coaster, we're trying to find the function that will tell us the slope of that beam of light. Or if we extend this in both directions, it'll be the slope of this tangent line at any given point where x is equal to c. So the way this is derived is kind of interesting. The slope is equal to the rise over run, or in other words, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And then we can rewrite the y sub 1 as f of x sub 1 and the y sub 2 as f of x sub 2. And if we let this x sub 1 be any value of x that we want, we can get rid of the subscripts. So it's just f of x. And we can let x sub 2 be the value c. Now we have a slope function like this. And for any point c, this will tell us the slope of the line for any value of x. But this is not the instantaneous slope. This looks different than our roller coaster headlight. In order to be the roller coaster headlight, we need to smush the x closer and closer to c until x is equal to c. And now we have the instantaneous slope. So we can change this to f prime of c, which is a notation for derivative or instantaneous rate of change. That's a high level summary of what this is all asking for. Now let's do the math. If we do direct substitution and plug in C for the X, this will give us zero over zero. So we got to do a little bit more work. We know that F of X is equal to X to the fifth. So in the place of this F of X, let's plug in X to the fifth. And then to find F of C in the place of X, we're going to plug in C, which would make this C to the fifth. So now we want to take the limit of X to the fifth minus C to the fifth over X minus C. There's a couple different ways to do this, but they're asking us to use polynomial long division. So let's do that. It's going to be written like this, x to the fifth minus c to the fifth divided by x minus c. And before we actually do the long division, we need to put in all of our zero placeholders. So we haven't changed anything. We just put in zero for x to the fourth, zero x three, zero x two, and zero x. Now we're ready to do the polynomial long division. So the steps of long division are how many times will it fit, multiply, subtract and bring down and then you're going to repeat so now to do this long division we have to ask ourselves how many times will x go into x to the fifth and that's going to be one x to the fourth and next step is we're going to multiply x to the fourth times x is equal to x to the fifth and x to the fourth times negative c is negative c x to the fourth and then our next step will be to subtract this x to the fifth minus x to the fifth will just give us zero and then zero x to the fourth minus negative cx to the fourth is going to be positive cx to the fourth and then next we can bring down this plus zero x cubed now we start over again how many times will x go into cx to the fourth well it's going to be cx cubed times so now let's multiply cx cubed times x gives us cx to the fourth and then cx cubed times negative c is negative c squared x cubed. Now let's subtract. cx to the fourth minus cx to the fourth is zero. And zero x cubed minus negative c squared x cubed is going to be positive c squared x cubed. And then we can bring down the zero x squared. So our next step is to find how many times x will fit into c squared x cubed. And that's going to go up here. It'll be c squared x squared. Now c squared x squared times x is c squared x cubed and c squared x squared times negative c is going to be negative c cubed times x squared. And then now we got to subtract this. As usual, these will cancel each other out and zero x squared minus negative c cubed x squared is positive c cubed x squared. And now we can bring down the zero x. How many times will x go into this? It'll be c cubed x times. And c cubed x times x is c cubed x squared. And c cubed x times negative c is negative c to the fourth x. We can subtract this. These will cancel. And 0x minus negative c to the fourth x is positive c to the fourth x. And now we can bring down the negative c to the fifth. How many times will x go into c to the fourth x? That'll be positive c to the fourth. C to the fourth times x is equal to c to the fourth x. And c to the fourth times negative c is negative c to the fifth. And now we can subtract this. C4x minus C4x is zero, and negative c to the fifth minus negative c to the fifth is also zero. So we have no remainder. That means this divided evenly. So now let's give us a little bit more room to work. So this fraction, this x to the fifth minus c to the fifth over x minus c, is the exact same thing as this polynomial. So in the place of this, we can plug in that polynomial. And now let's copy this again, and let's apply the limit. 
we're going to have all of our x's approach c. Now let's do direct substitution again. Let's plug in c for this x and c for all the other x's. And now that we've done the direct substitution, we can get rid of this limit notation. Now we can clean all these up. c times c cubed is equal to c to the fourth. c squared times c squared is equal to c to the fourth. And c cubed times c is equal to c to the fourth. Now we have a whole bunch of c to the fourths. In fact, we have five of them. So this would be equal to five c to the fourth. And that is f prime of c. Ultimately, they wanted the derivative of f of x, so let's write this as f prime of x is equal to 5x to the fourth. And that's the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. I thought this problem was interesting because I've never seen polynomial long division used to find a derivative. I think it's kind of brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, I love brilliant. It has thousands of lessons to choose from, and all of them are interactive. You learn by going through it. I finished this course on scientific thinking, and I was a big fan of all the thought-provoking questions regarding speed of light and light years and all that stuff. It's not something I ever studied in school, so it was cool to go through it. Right now, I'm in the middle of this, how technology works. It dives into things like computer memory, GPS, password security, and video compression. It's a good feeling to have a better understanding of what's going on under the hood of all this technology we use all the time. For all I knew a month ago, this stuff could have been running on literal magic. But now I'm starting to get a good high-level view of how it all works. If you want to go through it yourself, Brilliant has a free 30-day trial. Just visit brilliant.org slash andymath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.